Let's take a quick look at what we accomplished in the previous video. We brought in a CAD plan, turned it into a group, locked it, and associated it with scenes so that we could toggle it on and off. We're going to use this as a reference. The basis of this technique relies on the rectangle tool. Essentially, we're just going to take the tool and trace out the outline of the building. You can do this very quickly by just drawing a series of rectangles that will eventually trace the outline of this house. You can see how quickly this progresses. And of course, we could have started from the other side and worked this way. In fact, right here, I've created a little bit of an overlap. Erase that, and actually that's not quite what I needed. So I'll do that, erase it, and draw the last rectangle, and we have the outline of the building. This is one of the reasons why we locked this CAD plan. Now I use the eraser tool, and you can quickly go in and erase the extra lines we don't need. Because the plan is locked, we don't have to worry about it being erased. We can turn the plan off, and there's that little area where I goofed, so let me erase those lines as well. But now we have the full outline of the building, very quickly and cleanly. We could pull that up if we were creating a massing model, start working on the roof, and there we go. Or, if I undo that, if we wanted a more detailed model and to create some of the inside walls as well, use the offset tool, offset that plan exterior, and use the CAD plan again as a reference. So now we've offset the walls in, and we can pull the exterior walls up and start working on the interior walls. Two things to consider is that you could take and group the model that we have so far so that your exterior walls will be separate from your interior walls. We're going to take this and build it as though our exterior and interior walls are all going to be one. But of course you could do it either way. I'm going to use the rectangle tool again and start tracing out the inside rooms. Rooms like this one that aren't perfect rectangles, we can easily create and just erase the lines that we don't need. But the rectangle tool becomes a very fast way to create these spaces without drawing them with the line tool. We are going to need to use the line tool here in a little bit. We don't have uh, perfect rectangle spaces everywhere. And of course, in your model, if you have arcs and other curved surfaces and walls, you'll need to address those with the arc tool or circle tool as needed. But in general, most buildings and most rooms fall easily within the abilities of the rectangle tool. Now you can see at this point, we've sped the video up a little bit. This took a couple minutes to do, but for the sake of you watching, we've sped it up so that we can progress through it a little bit faster. We still show the whole process. You can see I'm using the scene tabs to toggle the floor plan on and off, show what I have and have not done yet and it becomes pretty simple to work your way through the building. See what I need to finish off next. Use the line tool and the rectangle tool. Whatever gets the job done the fastest. When using the line tool, you definitely need to understand inference locking. It always makes working with the line tool much faster. And now that we have the interior walls drawn, we'll slow the video back down. And all that's left is to go through and clean it up a little bit. Any extra lines that we may not need. And delete those edges that are preventing the interior and exterior walls from connecting. Now I accidentally missed a, an edge back there and you'll see in a little bit that'll come back and, and cause a problem, but it's pretty easy to fix. 
Again, if you were going to create your interior walls separate from your exterior walls, you probably would have grouped the exterior and then be working on the interior. And this erasing step would only be necessary to make sure that your interior walls are all connected properly. But we wouldn't have to connect them to the exterior walls as we're doing here. I think we've got most of it. We're going to test it by using push-pull. And you can see that I've got a possible problem here. And you can see it in that one big garage space that it didn't separate the walls. So go into that spot, see what's going on. We draw the rectangle. And there it is. There's that edge I missed. Now as we pull this up, you can see the rooms show correctly and there we have it interior and exterior walls all created within a few minutes just using the CAD file as a reference plan